welcome back to the Romanian River channel and my playthrough of Europa Barbarorum 2. A short episode, hopefully, this time around. I'm gonna try and aim for 20 minutes this time, because last time, yeah. I'm not gonna go much over 30. Yeah, 40, fuck. So, yeah. Let's see what I can do about that whole Ambrakia situation. Because the Greek is moving in quite quickly. Hopefully the Greeks don't get too ambitious. Because I really wouldn't like to have the whole Greek peninsula to my <clears throat> Poo. the whole Greek peninsula to myself. I think he's gonna Is he? Is he actually gonna? He's probably thinking about it. Really thinking about it. The Greek has a lot of armies. A lot. Tribalos. We have a troubled history with the tri Triboloi. No one can deny that they are ardent and vicious warriors, but I cannot deny we are pleased when Philippos defeated them and when the Otariatai did the same. Yet they are our Thracian brothers, and when Alexandros drove them across the Istros, the, Jet the Getai fought in their defense. We harbored their refugees then and fought with them again when the plundering Galatai drove through. We get I have shown them mercy and we have often fought and bled with the Triboloi, though not always on the same side. They are great warriors and stubbornly courageous, but it is hard to know how trustworthy this man will be. Hmm. And selfish, sharp, characteristic, yeah, a bit of a languorous bitch, but oh well. Good ambusher, no? He'll do. With sugar and spice. Okay. Tomb governor, tomb governor, tomb governor, herbalist, pet hunting dog. Hmm. Uniform pastoralism. Let's see how close the Greek is. I think I have sufficient. Power ratios are well within my level. I'm gonna do the stupid thing and auto resolve this one. Really? Okay, so don't auto-resolve. Important lesson learned. Because apparently the AI is stupider than three bucket full of shit. Actually, I'm gonna just wait until they come out of the city. Or the Greek gets close enough to where I can pull him into the battle and be like, Yeah, you can join me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, this is my shit, don't touch. Okay, so it didn't change. Nothing really changed. Okay. They're allied though, so they're not gonna be too warlike. 
supreme or reliable or reasonable. I don't know, trustworthy, supreme, bankrupt. Let's give you some money. Two turns, 500. You really are hiding something from me, aren't you? What did you do down here? Do you have any dirty Spartans hidden around? Statue of Zeus. Huh, did not know this one. That should be Sparta, I think. Of course, you could, uh, the guys who made the mod could have been like, no, Sparta is definitely not a power in this one. Definitely not a power. They're going to war. But with whom? They're going to war with the Romans. I pretty much have a tactical orgasm right in the right in front of you guys because yeah the romans gonna have a bad time with that mostly because the greeks gonna be going via the north i'm going to be going via the south nothing like surprise butt sex to ruin your day especially when there's frontal butt sex coming your way as well This era of disturbances finally winds to a close. Dissidents have been dissuaded, defeated, or driven into exile, and peace has returned to the household of Hellas. Hellens in many states look forward to a bright future brought far closer for their people. You can be certain your foes tremble. Did you move any closer? I'm relatively sure he's within combat range of that. Well, I'm gonna save anyway, but... I mean, come on, that's basically outside the camp. I think the spearman's what got me. How many more turns can it? No, four. And wait, what was that? Yeah, way stations and garrisons, nothing too important. be starving for another four turns. Better get bloody used to it. Yeah, I see these things are interesting, but why doesn't it have the charge bonus? The very long spear bit? I wonder. That is Sparta. He basically went up there and were like, yeah, how long, how big is the, the, the Dacian? I mean, it can't be that, oh fuck, he's big. Oh yes, I'm very big. Thick. <sighs> he's gonna have to get out of there pretty soon. 
Three more turns, yeah. Probably can fast track it to there within the next 10 to 15 minutes with the battle, and yeah. Should be very, very interesting and nice. Religious Crobizos. This man is one of the Crobizoi, an ancient tribe among the Trakoi. They once lived between the Istros and the Hymos, but war and good trade have convinced them to move further east. They have been at times they have at times been counted among the Getai tribes and seem these days to take all their beliefs either from the Getai or the Hellens. Many of them worship Zalmoxis and believe themselves immortal, but many of their nobles speak the Hellenic tongue as the, well as their own. As our own, pardon. Hmm, that's all. So they speak Getai and Ancient Greek or Hellenic. They were a particularly powerful tribe before the coming of Darius and Philacros identified their king as the wealthiest of all, yet still just. The Croibizoi are still known for their appreciation of luxury and their justice in attaining it. Hmm, this man and it's okay. So, vigorous, sharp, unselfish, pessimistic, yeah he sounds like me but mine is a religious bit. more of an agnostic myself. Did that thing finally get this underway? No. Good. That's gonna be a big wall. Are laws races to be held? Impressive otherwise. Allied League. Hmm. Could be worth playing the ancient Greeks at one point, just out of curiosity, because in Rome 1, I played a wee bit of the, because you guys remember the vanilla version, not even with the expansion, uh, started you off with the Romans and a couple of others, and the first faction I defeated were the Greeks. And after I defeated them, I was like, huh, okay, let me start a, a new game with another faction. And I noticed that then the Greeks unlocked themselves, and I was like, okay, let's try these. Got my ass kicked out of um, you know, the Greek peninsula, and I basically was stuck like for example, over here, these and the two islands, uh, Crete and what was this one called? It ain't Cyprus, this is Cyprus. Can't remember right now. And from there, I basically waged a slow, slow war expanding outward. Managed to get all the way up here with judicial use of. Um, hoplite tactics, basically hoplites with uh, skirmishers, and after that point I ran into Seleucid, eliminated him as well, and then went to war with the Ptolemaio, which in the vanilla um, version of Rome Total War was a bitch and a half to take care of because for some reason his desert axemen, if I'm not mistaken they were called, could butcher uh, hoplites quite easily. With a wee bit of adaptations and I survived. Problem is, once I conquered the Ptolemy, I ran smack first in the Romans. In uh, uh, around west of Alexandria, the cursor isn't showing at the moment, I think. So, yeah. After that point I was like, okay, let me try the Seleucids. Got my ass kicked five times before I managed to actually... Pontos? 
That's interesting. A noble life ends. So yeah. That's why. The guy who was here died. Pontic Spearman. Come on, I wanna see some bloody Spartans. Show me them goods. Show me them thick, thick goods. Hmm. Night Phalanx. These armies are pretty poor, actually. Pretty poor indeed. I don't have to kill a um, dude, so I don't want to. But I'm just saying, he's kind of weak. How many turns? Two. Okay, next turn. It, it gets on. Because I doubt he'll be like, yeah, you can take me. Hard. Spread eagled. Nah. He'll be like, okay, I'm gonna fight you in the field. Oh fuck, you have a lot of cavalry. Fuck. Yeah, that's how I'll end mostly. Spearman in a city, yeah, that's not gonna end well for anybody involved. Even the Spearman. They'll survive, but... Suffice to say, usually a ho dead horse on your head is gonna be a bit of a discomfort. Ariel Koi. Hmm. Probably in the... East. The Far East area. Thank you, thank you very much. I'm gonna save and pass the turn because, yeah. It's about to get 6090 with those rebels. Now, before I do that though, curiosity, curiosity, pillow is it? Good. You're already working on it? Good. Retrain those guys. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. How good are you though? Languorous, dull, eh. Now I'm gonna resay over 6090 and see about getting done with that siege. I'm calling it for this episode. Because he's not going to be sitting in that town. I'm damn well sure of it. Yep, there he goes. Come on, do it. Oh yeah, he's been weakened by a hundred, though not significantly enough, and I have to kick the shit out of him. Three things for which an enemy is loved, wealth, beauty, worth. I'm horrified to ask why beauty is in there.
Oh, time to get fucked. Damn the entrance. And battle. It's already ended. That was a quick battle. I think that's the quickest siege battle I've ever had, to be honest. No, not counting the ones where I didn't even have to fight in the damn siege city. Because those technically count as zero. And there we go. A nice station area and next couple of episodes possibly next four maximum i'm gonna be preparing for the romani war because nothing says fuck like having to fight the romans Okay, a lot of Hellenic classics. Organ donors aside. Outside aside, pardon. Hmm. Okay. First stuff that boosts that, then this. Yeah, that's also important. Good. They're all ready to upgrade, aren't they? They're basically plotting against me. Wasn't this the city that had a Jewish garrison? Yes, it is. Oy vey. Now... Next level... I'm a sick lady spearman. Nothing too important. Levies, Anatolian archers... Classical hoplites will work, swords will also work, yeah. Might actually spend quite a bit of time in peace, just to give a chance for me to build a proper army or two to, to throw at the Romans. Then again, I also have the Syracuse army, which is looking quite good, to be honest. But anyway. I'm going to leave it off here now, because last two episodes were a bit over time, so to say. Thank you for watching, or more precisely surviving up until this point, because guys know the editing's kinda interesting and my voice has a melodic tone to it. If you like what you saw, feel free to hit the subscribe button, like button, it does help out the statistics of the channel, gets more visible, you know, stuff like that. And to be honest, at one point I would like to actually make this a job so I can do better content with better quality, more games, more coverage, you know, stuff like that. Take care.